All right, everybody, welcome back to... I actually know what episode it'll be on YouTube, but welcome back to another episode of Tunic. And um, when we left off on the previous episode, we just got ourselves a brand new toy, which was this hookshot. And um, at the same time, I think we were trying to avoid what was coming next because uh, it kind of looked like we got a big bad boss fight coming. And um, yeah, we was, I'll be honest, we was holding off a little bit. So yeah, exactly. um, yeah, let's uh, let's head in there and let's see how many times we get our uh, asses handed to us. Uh, yes, a tunic is another name for um, it's kind of like shirt. It's like kind of a shirt dress is the best way I'd kind of describe it. Hey, can you shoot me some audio on Discord? Yeah, two secs. Just let me. Yeah, a few things. Let's get rid of these. Yeah, kick some ass. Props in the pool. Yeah, you gotta get warmed up. Pool of acid reflux. <laughs> oh, that's nice. All right. What's that secret? Oh, where's the, uh, There it is. That's why I knew there was a freaking. It's actually better to watch you on Discord than than uh, Twitch because Discord. The latency's less. Way less. <laughs> All right. What do you think the game plan's going to be here then? Kick some ass. Don't take any names at all. Just, Just kick cas ass. casually, casually walk into the room. Mind our own business. Yeah, you're up against a freaking blender <laughs> in a small area, so have fun with that. Already, Already stolen. stolen. What's already stolen? Well, you got the Indiana Jones uh, attachment. No, I was just wondering though, because it's got it's got magic power associated with it, and I just wondered what like the magic, the the other side of it was. Uh, uh, the magic is that it automatically comes back like a boomerang. Yeah, but it doesn't. Uh, no, what I mean is, though, it it doesn't consume any magic points. I just wondered what the. I wonder. I wonder actually. Hold on. Let me just test something. I don't know. I wonder if, like, the less magic points you have, maybe it um, didn't go out as far, possibly. But... Uh, okay. So, um, that was a little bit uh, anticlimactic. Oh, hold on. We're getting the obvious. Or not. Yeah, it's already stolen. You gotta find it and put it back. In that hole in the bottom. Okay. And then and then for your cooperation of doing such said nice deed, you get your ass blended. I can't wait. Well, before we do anything, let's set off a chain reaction. <laughs> yeah, take care of them all with one shot. That's that's nice nice of them to do that. Best ability in the game, by far. <laughs> let's kill the exploding octopuses. Yeah, just kill one and then they'll kill their themselves. That's... Oh, sorry, would that, would that be exploding octopi? Octopices. Octopices. <laughs> Come on, let's be gr grammatically super correct. Let's get, let's go against the world. Create our own memes and words. You madman! Or we could do octopuses. Octopuses? No, that was a James Bond film. Not sure that James Bond film was plural, though. I'll be honest. It wasn't, but 
uh, you named her film Octopussy and did not expect, pe expect people to make jokes. <laughs> I mean, you know, what is that one woman with eight vaginas? <laughs> I used to have all the James Bonds on like DVD at one point. I don't think I, I don't think I ever watched them all, if I'm honest. Which is probably a crime being from Britain, because, you know, it's a British yeah. institution. Yeah, I think I've seen them all, except for maybe one or two of the uh, latest. Uh, and by latest, I mean one or two in the past, like, 10, 12 years. Yeah. I've not seen any of the newer ones. Yeah, I've, I've, I don't know what the last one was, but... I, I can't keep up anymore. But yeah, I, if there's been one in the past few years, I haven't seen it. I think the last one I properly watched was probably Tomorrow Never Dies. I did see that. That's, uh... That was with, uh... Yes, uh, Tim Timothy Hutton. What, was the villain? Uh, as the villain, or you mean? No, Jim, Timothy Hutton playing James Bond. Oh. <laughs> oh where's the joke here? Uh, or no, uh, I don't remember. I don't remember which one after. John it was Pier Connery, Pierce, Bro Pierce Brosnan, man. Yeah, Pierce. I was gonna say it was. If it wasn't Timothy, it was Pierce Brosnan. But, uh, That's epic. Let's pull these up and get them stuck upside down. Hey, that's that's how uh, the uh, Franken cube works. I, I got a. Uh, I played a map, which I've, I only played a few. One of them, which was which I posted, uh, I played a couple more, and one of them had a Franken cube where some people like to call it Franken turret. Uh, same difference. Uh, the dropper dropped it out, and then I, it, it had a button you push to put up a flip panel to catch it. But I was trying to knock it because it would go different directions depending on how it hit. And it went straight to the ceiling, and its leg stuck in the ceiling. Okay. And, I could and I could grab it and drag it around and everything else but I couldn't get it out of the ceiling I tried portaling on the wall and making it go through a portal and when it wouldn't yeah it was permanently anchored <laughs> isn't he the sorry to deviate isn't he the guy Rosen that um, played Freddie Mercury in Bohemian Rhapsody isn't that Rami Malek uh, that, that, uh, Remy Supposed to be, uh, no, not yeah. Remy, but yeah, he he played uh, uh, Freddie Mercury on Queen. Maybe. Yeah, that's what I just said. <laughs> Again, I don't know if that's you being you doing your sarcastic thing or no. I wouldn't be sarcastic. I'm being dumb. That's I'm doing my dumb thing, which is just natural for me. Hey, look, we can traverse water now. Isn't that cool? Like that. <laughs> Dang it. Took us that, uh, neurotoxin. Toxin in the air again. I'm about to die, jeez. That's not good. Stop going in the water, jeez. Thank you. 
be back in about three minutes. Okay. Counting. Okay, count. Ready, set, go. On. Two. Seven. Shot ability is great. All enemies. Just let her rip. I've never seen Mr. Robot uh, Frozen, actually. I know a lot of people have um, talked about it before. But yeah, it's not one that I've ever, uh, I've ever spent the time to watch. Doesn't look good. Oh, oh, no, that's not good at all. I supped all my health. Yikes. Big yikes. you request a game for me to play? Well, that depends if you've got a hundred thousand airboats. That would be what we call a stream takeover. Um, no, to be fair, if you've, uh, you can certainly request a game to play. Um... <laughs> yes, Death Wish nicely, he might lend you a few. He's got far too many. Ah, no, seriously though, if you've got a game that you'd uh, like to see me play, go right ahead. Guy, Ash, have shield. Man, that guy does not like it when you t use that shield and take that away from him, but that's a great tactic to beat him. Here we got the wine perk. I wonder what that does. I just lost health there. I didn't tread in this stuff.
Boom, boom, boom. Big fireworks. the way the crabs decide to run towards it right at the moment it's about to explode. Good job crabs! definitely a more than anything I would say it's definitely like a Zelda-esque kind of game it's very similar to the original I, I've said the, the original Zeldas so we're doing all this and it's turning more of that stuff and like pumping it into the water I'm not sure that's really good um, but yeah it's very much kind of like a Zelda game where you find new abilities to progress to new areas Oh yeah, it's really cool. If I could put a hook shot onto chests, I wonder. It's gonna be very difficult to line that up because I can't um just walk around the wall. That's a, that's a bit of a deceptive kind of wall there. But yeah, I, I found it like more of Zelda where you're finding new abilities and learning how to use them to be able to progress through and access new areas. So I've been having lots of fun with it. Um, it was a donation from LB. Uh, at the begin beginning of the year. Yeah, that grappling hook thing definitely adds to uh, come Whoa. here. Yeah, it's um certainly changes a lot of the um, like dealing with the bosses and things, uh, not the bosses but the enemies yeah some of the more, the, some of the more tougher to ones them off. yeah you can literally just drag them towards you and while they're stunned you can even the big guys yeah that's cool right, of, so course, one more. of course you know there's going to be more enemies and and or uh, higher HP for them. Oh, of course. Of course. You can never get ahead in these games. You basically stay at the same level. They just... If they ramp up the liability side, they ramp up the asset side. Oh, yes. So it's, it seems like it's different, but it really never is. It's never plain sailing. So I wonder what's going to happen now, once we've activated all four of these things. Oh yeah, I forgot about this part in Talos. Because all that seems to be happening is... Oh. We're in Zynga. You just won. It just makes like the most annoying of enemies that little bit more tolerable. Oh yeah, especially when they're above your height to hit, you can just say, come here, you're dead.
Yeah, pretty much all but eliminates them. I mean, literally, you could just kind of add some extra pass that don't get straight and curve them around. The, the amount of time it takes you to go around that extra little couple 90 degree turns, that's how long it would, it would take you to kill one of those. Or they could just keep the path straight and not even have the enemies. Huh. Alright, so we've got this new statue that's just appeared in the middle. No, it's not new. I put it there for you. Oh, did you? Thanks. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing the other guy on my end. I'm okay. Staying, I'm just staying silent about it. I'm leaving you little surprises here and there. Should have got inside of it. Yeah, I realize that now. Are you Even happy now? The, the elevator only goes one floor down. <laughs> hey, this doesn't look the same. And you can't get across until you get to. Oh, you can do that. Yeah, you can. You, I, I, I found out a while ago that you can use it on the broken turrets. So. That's that changes things. So you, you still don't need to jump. You can just pull your side. They're doing everything they can to make sure that you don't get to jump. Oh yeah. <laughs> you, you, you need to jump across that? Nope. You're just gonna simply pull yourself across. Yeah, that's the hero. I wonder if now I've got this grappling hook. Uh, what? I wondered if now that I got this gra uh, grappling thing. I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, that, that, that would automatically lock on. Yeah, so that's a no-no. But then even if you got there, what are you latching onto on the other ones? Well, no, but I didn't know if I could like pull those things across to me. Oh, okay. okay. That's another way to think about it, yeah. Yeah, I probably would have had to try that. Uh, me, I'd be trying it on everything just to see. Got these things holding the velvet rope. Let me see if I can snipe. Everything seems, I don't know, everything seems like a little bit weird and out, out of scale here. I don't know. It changes. It's like you're only the size of a book. Hey, we got some more manual. A cathedral. Is this where we are? Is this where we? Is this where we are? Is this where we're at? I, still wrong. Is this where we are? At 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 the end is an extra word that's not needed and it's <laughs> grammatically incorrect. <laughs> you, should, you should never end your uh, location question with at. Somebody was drinking far too much coffee when they were uh, going through this page on the manual. <laughs> Apparently. Legend says wearing this allows you to do something extraordinary. Yeah, well, I think more like they just had a, 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 they filled it up to the top and, and they had a Parkinson's. Okay. Not sure what to make of that at the minute. This must be like the, the full map, I guess, because I think there's some places we haven't been yet. I haven't been to the quarry. Symbols. We've seen that. Do I don't think we've symbols compared to the there. symbol and the, the little pictures. 
There's a difference. Interestingly, though, it's, it's only telling me the places I've briefly visited. So I wonder... Uh, although, no, I've seen that big sword. I've seen the big sword. I don't know why that's not... I wondered if, like, they updated as you find new places, maybe. I feel like if you would... If you would have written down what was there before... Well, I don't know, because that was a brand new page that we've just found, so... Okay. Well, but right we, we know right? we we know though that if um, the sword or those bottom two on the right change at some point, then that is the case. Yeah, I was just gonna say, just write one of them down, and if you hit it uh, and it changes, then that's you know, that symbol for that letter. So, I mean, all right. So we've got some more stuff here, some more of these things. Um, it's not all of them though. You know the card things, the perk things that we uh, we were playing around with last time. Remember these? The, uh... So it's like they've tried to make a bit of a marking as to what each of these things do. And so the, uh, like we the just question mark on the road is uh saying try that i think it's these two and then uh no it's not health it's fire damage whatever and then you got the typical somebody somebody's got parkinson's you were at the aura's gym Why is it telling you to put, like, paper in water? It's almost like there's a secret to be found. Put paper in water. 60 seconds. And then it's got the star. Hmm. Okay. Anything else to be found here? Louder echo four times. Do you have the power of the louder echo? Not yet, no. Okay, so that's the, another area, the quarry. And then we've got the swamp. Times four, does that mean there's four bosses there? Yikes. Could be a... No, there's... <laughs> Poor, poor Mr. Squidworth. This zone is extremely dangerous and is best left alone, even if you're feeling brave. Only ghosts are permitted to enter the inner ground. Okay. So... How about does, the underground? Does, does that mean we can uh, turn ourselves into a ghost somehow? Just speculating. Okay, if so, what else would that open up besides that area? And does it change your physical so physics wise? Done did a thing. You know what I should probably do before we do anything to this? Save. Make a save. <laughs> F6. Yeah, it's convenient of them to put that save spot. It's also worrying. It's like, <laughs> what, what's coming next? already been here though haven't we yeah, yeah. can you grapple your way across i don't see anything uh, how, do to, how do you get to that one underneath oh well, she's not clapping at me today 
makes me sad. I think the one underneath is possibly just one of those that you probably get to, but you can't get, you can't like go anywhere from it. If that makes sense. I wonder if these black ones are just ones that we, places we haven't visited yet, so we can't fast travel there, I guess. Right. That would make right. sense. That's what, that's what I assumed. Yeah. You assumed or you assumed? Yes. <laughs> yes. I mushroomed. Mushroomed? That's just there. Why don't I open it? Okay, um, let's go see your ass kicking. Pieces of manual, no. Okay. What do you mean my ass kicking? You're talking about fool. <laughs> hey, the arrow is pointing for you to go in there, so. Oh. Hi. How you doing? I'm just Darth Vader. Get over here. <laughs> seems to be immune from grappling him, which is annoying. Oh shit. Stand still, jeez. ranged attacks surely but the problem is with ranged attacks the only thing I've got to range attack is this thing and I've only got like 20 shots on it so yeah unless they do like some super hefty damage can't imagine that they will never know until you try <laughs> guess we're trying then I mean, what else are you going to use them on? Who knows? Okay. Uh, you're already doing better than you were. Or, 
I go then. The problem is now I'm I'm out of magic. the right strat because he keeps giving you enemies that seem to don't take any health from him well no not but they keep they keep giving you like intermediate enemies in between which can refill your magic meter so okay might be the way to go it seems like the first quarter you can like you can pull him in and you can spam him with your sword for a bit, and then after the first quarter he's a bit he's almost like he's immune to pulling him in. Oh, hold on a minute. Every time he touches you, that way is good. Okay, there's something about the mechanic of that that I'm not understanding. Cause it, or maybe it's just because he's a boss, but for some reason, I've, I've worked out why it's not working to grab him later. It's because when I grab him, that does use my magic. Maybe it's like a boss mechanic or something. But every time I grapple him, my magic goes down by one. Oh. Well, I say by one, but it goes down one on the, yeah, grappling, the, little the grappling count. The grappling yeah. count, yeah, not the... Um... Yeah, not the bar. Nothing well, else to use range though, that's the problem. Where do his weapons suck? <laughs> if only he had any kind of decent weapon power. I gotta do a better job of keeping on my health. That's kinda typically how the game works, I think. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> trying to do as good a job as you can at keeping your health <laughs> it, it's awkward though because there's no there's no like cancel so you can start doing your health and then he'll just absolutely spam you for six and there's nothing you can do about it because you're in a You're in the middle of like a health regen animation. Uh, just like that. Yeah, it's like the first time you use those, uh, like that, that weapon. Oh, okay. Uh, and you, you get them right after, you get something right after, and it. it Okay, I've realized the pattern here. Okay, maybe not. Yeah, there we go. So the pattern is, I've realized. He only starts spawning other enemies when you're out of magic.
Ah, uh, almost had him three quarters. Yeah. So yeah, he. The the minute you are out of magic, he will give you enemies to replenish your magic. Isn't that very kind? So I think it's a case of magic, magic, magic. And then when he does that attack where he sort of like... He does an attack where he kind of like appears in the middle and absolutely tries to rinse you. Um, just try and run him with your sword maybe to save a bit of magic. Yeah. This one. But he's immune to the thing when he's um, in the middle of an animation. I need to try and I got kind of screwed at one point there because he used that he used that attack where he kind of like it's like a massive line and it moves toward it moves and it just moved right towards me and I had nowhere to go I was literally in the corner stuck so I mean in in the uh like dodge the tuck and roll move doesn't that go under it or no Okay, he's deviated from the strap. The, the, can you not go under that or no? No. I, well, I don't know, actually. I'll be honest. Because uh, it seems like you've never uh, did the uh, dodge maneuver. And you get hit by it every time. I think you put the chunk off of you. You mean that one? I just got hit by? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, If you're on the lower ground and uh, you do the dodge, dodge roll, when it's coming at you, you can roll under it. I didn't know if you'd try that. Buy it if you're far enough to the left or right of it. (laughs) 
again, it's just like pinned me in a corner. I had nowhere to go.